Alrighty, so we have more news today. Cedar Fair is just popping off today with the stockholders call. Thank you so much for watching the Cedar Fair um, stockholders call video that I released. It seems to be really popular. Um, and uh, that's super awesome. So thanks so much. Uh, that's definitely my area of expertise in the enthusiast community. I love business and anything business discussion, whatever. I love it and I study it. Um, and yeah, but nonetheless, Michigan's Adventure has announced that the Bebop Boulevard Cruisers will have its last day of operation on August 11th. So Sunday, August 11th. And uh, usually when Cedar Fair removes something, it is to make way for something, even if it is for reasons of maintenance and cost. There's something that's going to come replace it. And this is one of those parks that I can guarantee you something is coming to replace this attraction. Um, my good friend Inside Great Adventure, um, as usual, he's really good at fitting um, current coasters or coasters that are already um, on Google Maps into areas. And it looks like this area could fit a Raptor coaster really well. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. Put down the T. Um, but yes, I definitely think something's coming. Now, when I looked into the park's lineup, they are definitely a very small park with very little attractions. And this is where it gets very difficult. Yes, so a raptor can fit in this plot of land, but so could a spinning pendulum ride um, or any other flat ride or a used attraction currently at a Cedar Fair Park. I'm looking at you, Canada's Wonderland, um, and Time Warp at Canada's Wonderland. I'm looking at you. Um, but yes, nonetheless, it could be a multitude of things, and it's going to be next to impossible for me to sit here and convince you of one attraction that would fit this plot of land really nicely. So I'm going to go over three options that I think would work really well at Michigan's Adventure. The first one would be a Raptor. So let's say Cedar Fair fixed all the kinks with um, the Raptor model at California's Great America. I don't know why the name of the coaster slipped my mind while recording this video. And this is the problem with me not being scripted. Um, Railblazer. So <laughs> Railblazer, um, let's say they worked out all the kinks and Cedar Fair is uh, now ready to invest in another one. This would be a great park for them because from what I understand, they're only 4 million USD. And now we know that we have 140 million. Let's bring it down to 110, 100 million left for investment because Kings Island's going to take about 30 to 40 million dollars of that if they're going down the route of Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland with a brand new massive area. Um, so $4 million USD is not a lot to spend on a park that has not had investments. Um, so that could work really well. Um, or a spinning pendulum or flat ride could work really well. Or again, a relocated attraction from Canada's Wonderland. Um, from what I'm hearing, Canada's Wonderland is getting ready to make an announcement. We don't know what that announcement is. It's not going to be a coaster. So it could be uh, the removal of an attraction. Time Warp doesn't work well at Canada's Wonderland. And this is an attraction that I could see work really well at a park like Michigan's Adventure. Um, so uh, that is the least likely, though. I know I just did present it. I do not think that we're going to see a relocated ride from Canada's Wonderland going to Michigan's Adventure. I think they're going to see a flat ride as the most likely option. I think a spinning pendulum ride would be work really well at a park like this. Um, or uh, the Raptor model. Um, it could be other things as well. Maybe they'll get a small scale wooden coaster again. Uh, by GCI, but I think that it's going to be something smaller like a flat ride or a Raptor model just because those don't take too long to build. And uh, we, from what I understand, there are no signs of construction or markers at Michigan's Adventure yet. But nonetheless, I do want to hear from you guys down below in the comments section as usual. Um, comment down below what you think could be coming to Michigan's Adventure and uh, if you think this is a sign of a coaster or a flat ride. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye.